talk about smoothing capacitors. Now a capacitor is used to smooth out the output ripple of a rectifier. It's placed across the output of the rectifier in parallel with the load. Now the capacitor charges when the voltage of the rectifier rises and then discharges as this voltage falls off. And we use it to smooth out this ripple of the, the DC here, like that. Now, what size capacitor do we use? Well, we'll start by uh, figuring out the time between these two peaks here. Now, in this circuit here, I'm using a 60 hertz input. So I get a sine wave like this. So on the top here, this is going to be at 120 hertz. So to find your time, you just take the frequency and divide that into one. So I've got 120 divided into one. So that's going to be 0 0.0083 or, you know, 8.3 milliseconds. That's the time between these two peaks here. So we have an RC circuit here and we want to find the time constant here. So uh, time is equal to the resistance times the capacitance. So our capacitance is going to be equal to the time divided by our resistance. Now in this case I just used an LED. I'm dropping two volts across it at uh, 20 milliamps. That's going to be about 100 ohms. And this happens to be a 10 volt DC output on my rectifier here. So I need to drop 8 volts across the, a resistor here at 20 milliamps. That's going to be 400 ohms. You know, I have a 470 ohm resistor, so I use that. And yeah, it comes out to 570 ohms. So I divide that into my uh, time between the two peaks, and that comes out to 14 microfarads. Now, that's the bare minimum amount of capacitance I need. Uh, probably have to double it, or maybe three times that. And now, as the load increases, this, uh, these ohms are going to decrease, and I'm going to need a bigger capacitor to be able to smooth this uh, this pulse out here on this DC pulse on on here. Now, we'll uh, we'll take a look at the scope and uh, see how much capacitance I actually have to use uh, for the scope here. I'm I'm going to use a you know times one probe. I'm going to use AC coupling. I don't want to see any DC. I just want to see the AC what it's going to look like in there, and uh, I'm, I'm triggering off the peaks on that. But we'll we'll go over the scope and take a look. Here we are at the oscilloscope. I've got it AC coupled. I've got, uh, this is zero. I've got 10 volts to the peak here. I've got 120 uh, 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 hertz. And I'm gonna add in uh, uh, 10 microfarads. I got 10, uh, that cut a ripple down to five volts, peak to peak here. So um, I'm gonna add in our 14 that we said we're gonna have. And that cuts a ripple down to uh, 4.4 volts. Uh, now, that was a bare minimum. Uh, we're going to go with, uh, say, 22. And at 22, it's uh, 3.6 volts. Still not quite good enough. So I'm going to take it up uh, seven times what uh, our 14 was. I'm going to go up to about 100. All right. Now, this is our ripple is going to be at uh, one volt ripple here. Our time between peaks is still at uh, 8.3 milliseconds and uh, well, we don't have our uh, frequency up there anymore we're pretty uh, we're pretty good there uh, this is good enough for the circuit that I'm going to use and uh, if you want to add more capacitance you can you run the risk of uh, w with too big of a capacitance having an inrush current that could wreck some other components and if you're low if you increase the load you're going to need to increase the uh, capacitance on the circuit but uh, for for this system here um, you know this ripple here is going to be acceptable so that's uh, smoothing capacitors thank you